Hello people and um, welcome back to the crate with Tomb. Today I've got another bit of a weird one. I found myself in rather quick need of a uh, well a kill team for the Warhammer kill team game. Um, I had a kill team as such but it was very early on it was not of the best quality I could really do so I've decided to make a new one really um, here I have five blanks as such mainly legs body arms maybe a backpack or two although in fairness they are the death watch ones so they're really in place they were Death Watch from another area, but I have repurposed them. So what you're going to see me do is basically almost take each model, throw them together. I've got my little pile of bits over here that have been reclaimed from other places or repurposed. And I'm going to throw together a five-man kill team for the Death Watch, of course, because that's what I'm doing at the moment. And I'm basically going to chop up, convert, work with each model to get them to be what I want them to be. And then you will see each model as it goes through production line as such. And then at the end, I shall spray them all and hopefully get a bit of painted in on them. But we will see what time I have available. So anyway, let's see, what shall I start with? I think I'm going to start with doing this one as my uh, focus, as usual. There we go. Do a watch sergeant. He's going to have a xenophase blade and a stalker bolt gun, bolter, however you want to pronounce that. Again, pronunciations are something I'm not good at. Don't blame me for it. So yes, we're going to start off with a watch sergeant and equip him up and see how he looks like. Anyway, back in a moment or a little bit as I get everything together. Here we are with the bits together that will become my watch sergeant. Um, I'm not going to do the full breakdown for these models. Merely uh, this is what I'm doing with them and then the end results. As I've got five of them and I'm trying to do this quick and not take hours and hours and hours to do it all. So I've got the Xenophase blade and the Stalker bolt gun and the model there. I think I'm going to sort of chop the arms off, well, chop the bits already on it into shape and then I shall attach everything. So you'll see it again shortly, but here I go building. And so first one done, oh, a bit of wobble there, we have the watch sergeant equipped with the control focus stalker bolt rifle and the xena face blade standing looking for trouble coming towards him so that was quite efficient anyway and then we'll be moving on to the next one which i think we shall go with the i think it's the infernus heavy bolter infernal heavy bolter Bolter with a flamethrower attached, need I say more, you shoot it or you set it on fire, which, you know, works very well as far as I can tell. So yes, I'll be moving on to equipping a model with that, and yes, I'll see you shortly to show you the new one, or my, I think it's a uh, kill team gunner with an Infernus Bolter. Don't quote me on that one. I'm never good at these things. Anyway, I will see you shortly with the next one. Right, so we're on the second one. And it's worked out quite well. Nice little flame bolter thing. Now attached and dramatically looking off towards wherever it's pointing. To flame a bullet ridden corpse. Because... Well, that's the best thing for most things in the 40k universe, really. Anyway, so I've now done that one. I think the next one I will be working on shall be a frag bolter. 
Frag Storm Bolter. Again, if you want the accurate names, look them up yourself. I'm not an expert at that sort of naming stuff or remembering names. So anyway, so my next one will well, my next one will be that. Let's get to work, and soon you'll see the next one of whatever this is called. Frag grenades as bullets. Enough said. Really. So here we are, number three. Death Watch with a frag cannon grenade launcher item. I still haven't looked up what it was. Oh well. So yeah. Now the next two are going to be quite simple. They are simple. Well, I say simple. They're uh, Death Watch gunners with just the plain old auto bolt rifles with grenade launchers attached. Nothing too fancy or special to really be made, so I'll be doing them both together to speed them up sort of thing. But anyway, so we will be going through that. But yes, there we go. That's number three down. All at the back there drying. And the next two coming up shortly. Uh, we'll see how they go. Hopefully there shouldn't be any problems. They are relatively easy conversions. Mainly just doing shoulder pads. But, you know, that saying, famous last words and all. Anyway. And so, I've added the final two. Took a little bit longer as I did some work with some liquid green stuff as you can see but there you go you have the another two with auto bolt there we go all the both rifles and both have attached grenade launchers because yes I went there <laughs> uh, and yeah there's this one has what I'm terming as an auspex if that's how you say it attached to the leg because I don't have the actual part for the aspect, but that will do. So, yeah, both ended up with grenade launchers, and hopefully they work out well. So, <coughs> oh, sorry, Rona, a little bit. I have one final model to throw together, which that's just a plain old veteran with a plain old bolt gun. But, yeah, as soon as that's done, that will be my kill team put together. But yeah, back shortly. And so, right on the end there is the last of the kill team. Oh, bloody hell, Corona all over the place. So, yeah, there we go. That's all six completed. Uh, I'm giving them a bit of time to dry, so he probably won't see them all painted up, or at least base sprayed, but you'll see when I go to paint them all properly. But anyway, thank you for watching. This has been Assembling My Kill Team. And yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.